hard one because um, well, my name's Peanut Butter Wolf was my stage DJ name, and my real name's Chris Manic. And I am a DJ, record label founder. <laughs> put out music that they genuinely love and not necessarily music that they think will be will be a hit you know um, and I think that's what makes them so successful do whatever the hell you want and then we'll look at it afterwards and decide it's kind of anything goes and it's a real for an artist that's a great that's a great label to work with because you just feel like oh, I can just do whatever I want and that's how you get your best results I'm, I don't know if it's how you make the most money, but it's how you get the best results. So. I think that one thing that Stones Throw really appeals to in people who buy records is that they love music as much as the people who are buying music. Yeah, you know, that's the kind of shit that when you, when you, when you think of a Stones Throw, you're thinking of like classic sounds. You're, t you're talking about grounded sounds, rooted sounds, cultural sounds. Uh, stone throw is a cultural phenomenon. Stone throw, you know, the, the the major audience at that point, you know, it's like they were connected because of Mad Lib and hip hop stuff. Chris was never afraid to kind of throw those curveballs, you know, and say, well, you should also maybe check this out, get turned on to this, you know, and like open your mind to this music. I think the more you're confident about pushing something and the more you kind of back up your your actions and continue to do things that are different the more people respond you kind of have to ease them into it you know kind of educate them about you know something that might sound different you know stone Throw was a great label i respected their independence and uh, when it came time for me to uh, think about releasing my music on a label as opposed to my own label I went with Stone's Throw because of their independence and the way they care about the music. And everybody who works at Stone's Throw um, are still go out, they still collect records. It's not like bean counters or other labels that don't care about the music. They care. Brand new! Nigga! <laughs> There's something about this city that, that makes for really powerful creatives. 